Yeah. Got these four black male suspects, man. I'm gonna fucking pull them over right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna do it right now. It's a brown regal. Yeah. I'm sure they are legal. They have something kind of marijuana or something. I don't know. The music's really loud, so we're gonna take them out. I mean, we're gonna pull them over. Okay, great. Fucking don't move, man. Put your fucking hands up, get out of the car, and strip butt asshole naked. That's right. Do it now. Don't fucking move, man. Don't fucking move. Stay right there. Okay, yeah. Kick that shit over here. Kick it all over here. Yeah, now you're naked. You can't fucking do anything now, huh? Look, he got a fucking gun. He got a gun. He got a gun. Shut him. Shut him.
States would not trade places with any nation on Earth. We have taken major steps in the past months to maintain our lead, and we do not propose to lose it. Secondly, the United States does not find it necessary to explode 50 megaton nuclear devices to confirm that we have many times more nuclear power than any other nation on Earth, and that these capabilities are so deployed so as to survive any sneak attack and thus enable us to devastate any nation which initiates a nuclear attack on the United States or its allies. It is essential to the defense of the free world that we maintain this relative position. In view of the Soviet action, it will be the policy of the United States to proceed in developing nuclear weapons to maintain this superior capability for the defense of the free world against any aggressor. No nuclear test in the atmosphere will be undertaken as the Soviet Union has done for so-called psychological or political reasons. But should such tests be deemed necessary to maintain our responsibilities for free world security, in the light of our evaluation of Soviet tests, they will be undertaken only to the degree that the orderly and essential scientific development of new weapons has reached a point where effective progress is not possible without such tests, and only within limits that restrict the fallout from such tests to an absolute minimum. In the meantime, as a matter of prudence, we shall make necessary preparations for such tests so as to be ready in case it becomes necessary to conduct them. In spite of the evidence which shows very clearly that the Soviet Union was preparing its own tests while pretending to negotiate their cessation at Geneva, the United States maintains its determination to achieve a world free from the fear of nuclear tests and nuclear war.